Welcome back, Star Wars fans, to the Hyperspace Database. I'm Jonesy the Mandalorian, your host here with today's topic, the mysterious Centerpoint Station. Centerpoint was a humongous space station built 100,000 years before the Battle of Yavin by the alien insectoid Killick species, who referred to the station as Kuala Raluk, or the World Puller. This extremely early construction date made Centerpoint one of the oldest artifacts in the Star Wars universe. Centerpoint was a massive station, being even larger than the first Death Star. At 350 kilometers long and 150 kilometers wide versus the Death Star's width of 120 kilometers. While Centerpoint was known as a massive space station where numerous people dwelled, it was also an enormous specialized tractor beam projector that was capable of dragging planets, ships, and stars through hyperspace. While this ability was extremely powerful, it took massive amounts of power to move planets and stars throughout the galaxy. While the station was capable of moving these heavenly bodies to other locations, it was also able to destroy these targets by using the hyperspace tractor beam to collapse their cores by gravitational force. Centerpoint Station sits neatly between the planets Tralis and Talus in the Corellian system, and was developed by the Thurut clans of the insectoid Killick species at the instruction of the Celestials, also known as the Architects, as revealed in the Legends Dark Nest trilogy. Who are the Celestials, you might ask? They are not completely alien to those who have seen the Clone Wars TV show, as we are introduced to three of them in the form of the beings called the Ones, or the Force Wielders of Mortis. Anakin, Ahsoka, and Obi-Wan arrive on Mortis and meet the father, the son, and the daughter, who they discover were locked in a struggle to maintain balance of the Force. The son embodied the dark side and the daughter the light side, with the father maintaining the balance between the two. There was another being that joined the Celestials at some point after this, who was eventually transformed into the creature known as Abeloth. Abeloth's power grew immense, and it drove her insane, so the son and daughter directed the Killix to use Centerpoint to make a prison specifically to contain her. Centerpoint was used to drag dozens of black holes together to make up what became known as the Maw Cluster, which would later house the famous Maw installations seen in the novels. These black holes prevented Abeloth from escaping the Maw, and kept her imprisoned for thousands of years. Time passed and the history and purpose of Centerpoint Station was lost. Most of its history was forgotten by the time of the Clone Wars, and rightly so, as the station was over 100,000 years old. At that point, the station was just used as a staging area for colonists looking to relocate to different worlds, though a good number of them ended up staying and lived in the center of the station, which was affectionately called Hollowtown which was home to numerous tourist attractions and farms to feed those on the station. It was also where the mysterious Glow Point was located, which was an artificial sun that lit the entire area of Hollowtown. The station itself was just massive, and a large portion of the ship was unexplored and unmapped because of its sheer size. The outside decks of the ship were called the shells, mostly because each deck of the station was encased in the one next to it, like the shell of an egg. Centerpoint Station is seen most notably in the Corellian trilogy of novels, when Han Solo's distant cousin Thraken Sal Solo harnesses the power of Centerpoint, with help from the secretive Sikorian Triad Council. The Sikorian Triad tested the superweapon on an empty system, and while the test was a success, it came with a horrible consequence. When the station was fired, all of the people in Hollowtown were vaporized, as it turned out that the center of the station was a giant combustion chamber for the hyperspace tractor beam. Following this disaster, the remaining occupants of the station were evacuated, and then the behemoth superweapon was under the direct control of the Triad and Sal Solo, who then tried to hold the galaxy hostage with its awesome firepower. This plan, known as the Starbuster plot, was eventually foiled by Han Solo and Princess Leia's kids, who bonded with Centerpoint Station's command center, locking everyone else out of the system. The station would then come under the control of the new Corellian government, and would remain unused for many years. However, when the extragalactic Yuzon Vong invaded the galaxy, it was proposed that the dreaded weapon be turned on the invaders. This tactic turned out to be disastrous, however, as the weapon destroyed friend and foe alike at the Battle of Fondor due to a miscalculation, decimating the Hapen fleet that was assisting the New Republic. Many years later, the Corellian system declared its independence from the New Galactic Alliance, and was considered a major threat now that it was an independent with a superweapon that could reach across the stars to destroy planets. To counter the threat of Centerpoint, a small strike team of Jedi was sent aboard to sabotage the Behemoth Station, and succeeded in slicing its targeting computer, 
making it so that whenever the weapon would try to fire, it would target itself instead of any other target. This tactic would ultimately bring the ancient super weapon station to its knees, as a short time later it destroyed itself trying to fire on the capital world of Coruscant, ending the hyperspace weapon threat once and for all. Centerpoint Station was an incredibly large space station and hyperspace super weapon, and was instrumental in the formation of the Corellian system and in keeping the force creature Abeloth contained in her black hole prison. When the station was used as a super weapon, its fearsome power was used to devastating effect, and those that witnessed its power knew it was a super weapon to be feared and respected because of its incredible reach and deadly destructive capability. Want to know more about Star Wars topics just like this one? Stick around to the end for some secret trivia, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and you can check out my other videos for great Star Wars content. Hit me up in the comments and check out the show on social media too, I want to hear from you guys. Super special shout out to my gold captain level Patreon supporters Miss2003, Nick Sutphin, and Matthew Scott. Your guys' support is so appreciated, thank you so very much. Thank you guys for watching, check out my other videos and chat with me on social media, and we will see you guys in the next episode.